Climate change is the defining issue of our time, and we are at a crucial moment. From shifting weather patterns that threaten food security to rising sea levels that increase the risk of catastrophic flooding, the impacts of climate change are global in scope and unprecedented in scale. With our drastic action today, adapting to these impacts in the future will be more difficult and more costly. The difficulties with climate change impacts are exacerbated in small island developing states because of their small geographical area, isolation and exposure. The associated development challenges from sea level rise, altered rainfall patterns and storm surges threaten to reverse progress made towards the sustainable development goals now and in the future. Accurate, timely and accessible information can be the first defense. Environment statistics describe the qualitative and quantitative aspects of the state of the environment and its interaction with human activities and natural events. It involves the integration of data from a multitude of subject areas and sources to get a full picture of the state of the environment and its capacity to support the current and future needs of countries. Environment statistics is an emerging statistical field in official statistics in most countries and it is indispensable for evidence-based policies and decision-making to support sustainable development. St. Lucia is at the forefront marrying agencies to produce environmentally relevant data to those who need them for decision-making. A platform now exists where all such data will be accessible under the National Environmental Information System, the NEIS. This is a one-of-a-kind system right now in the world uh, that is designed to help St. Lucia report to uh, multilateral environmental agreements to uh, UN agencies such as UNFCCC, UNCCD, and UNCBD. It's actually something that the UN is asking for uh, internationally. Uh, not many other countries are doing it, if any, and this is a, a very big step forward for the UN for sustainable development. At present, environmental data is scattered about different locations, platforms, and agencies. The National Environmental Information System will bridge this digital divide. 17 agencies have signed on in agreement to provide data to the NEIS. When you're looking for information rather than going to different agencies, now you have the opportunity to just go to this one location, one web platform, where you can just access that data that will save you the time of trying to contact each and every individual. The Solution National Trust was established in 1975. Its primary mandate is to conserve the natural and cultural heritage sites of St. Lucia. It is both a consumer and a producer of valuable environmental data. So we signed an MOU with the government agreeing to provide any information that we have as it relates to environmental matters to assist with the monitoring of the multilateral environmental agreements that um, the country is responsible for administrating. The National Environmental Information System actually does cover a lot of the information that we require, for example, protected areas, um, historic areas, and the Signature National Address has been protecting those resources and we have a lot of data that we can provide and likewise we are able to benefit from some of that information that already exists for example the land cover information will help us to make more informed decisions. As global climate conditions have changed over the decades Meteorological Information Service plays a key role in the human decision-making process and has pervasive effects in various sectors. From 1973 to present the St. Lucia Meteorological Service has provided such data, however, accessing the information meant a series of calls and formal requests. Today, the NEIS has revolutionized this data sharing capacity and value. Uh, that information entails uh, different weather elements such as rainfall, temperature, uh, air pressure, and even wind. And that information, we make it readily available to people to take a look at trends or generate reports, even for the student to just do homework. The farmer can use that data to have an idea such as uh, when to start planting crops, if there's going to be a delay in the rainy season, or is the dry season going to be drier than normal or wetter than normal. The NEIS is St. Lucia's project reporting system 
for multilateral environmental agreement implementation and environmental information management. The open data on this site can be accessed by clicking on Explore Reports, click on the report of interest, and then download it using the Actions option on the top right. Indicators are presented as a statistic or value of the presence or level of the factor affecting the environment. The five key global environmental indicators are biological diversity, food production, average global surface temperature and carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, human population and resource depletion. This system has been a work in progress since 2004. In conducting St. Lucia's National Capacity Self-Assessment in 2004 and in an update in 2014, one of the major outcomes of that assessment was that St. Lucia lacked the capacity to actually implement the compliance mechanisms under multilateral environmental agreements. That may have been the lacking the human resource or the financial capacity to actually state to do what we need to do under those multilateral environmental agreements. So what came out of that assessment is that the Global Environment Facility provided grant funding to the government of St. Lucia to support our capacity to develop a project that will assist in creating an environmental information system to assist in reporting on the multilateral environmental agreements. The NEIS's impacts will be evident at multiple levels, social, economic, environmental, and in the area of climate resilience. It will deliver an unprecedented level of integration and synergy to data sharing and greater coherence to the planning process. The platform will benefit from public access to data from 17 public and private sector agencies who are actively participating in the sharing of environmental information to ensure that the Government of St. Lucia's policy and planning decisions are evidence-based. Open access to environmental data and information contributes to enhanced environmental management and livelihood protection for resource users such as farmers, fishers, artisans, and marine and eco-adventure service providers, to name just a few. With this system, we, we are working, interagency collaboration has been quite successful. We're creating a culture where agencies, non-governmental and governmental, are feeling understanding the need to share information and data which is quite important for us as a people to know knowledge is power so we need to understand what is the impact of a certain developments on our 